Hey guys, I'm back. I'm in a shirt, so it can mean only one thing. I'm slacking off on my lunch break. That's right, I'm here at work with the T6.1 that we've got, and I've got one of these. It's a Android smart box that will give you wireless CarPlay and Netflix, YouTube, and other apps for your factory CarPlay system. We're gonna have a quick look in the van and see how this works. Is it any good? And then we'll head on back to the barn. We've got the LCD dash, which is lovely. We've got the sat nav and the whole sort of media center and all of that. Now this has built in CarPlay, but sometimes it's just too much effort to plug your phone in and you want wireless CarPlay. Well, that's where today's video sponsor comes in with this. This little box will plug into your factory CarPlay system to give you wireless CarPlay, but also gives you apps like YouTube, Netflix, and other Android-based apps that can work on this little smart box. I was sent this by One Car Stereo, and there's a link in the description for you to click on there to get your own one of these, if this is something that you might want. But quickly, this goes into the factory USB socket. Now, on the newer vans, you've got this USB-C socket here and the cup holder. It would stick quite nicely there with a bit of double-sided tape and then I can still use the cup holder. But for today, we're gonna stick it in there. With that plugged in, it's just time to start the van up and we'll have a look and see what we've got. We'll just wait for the factory system to wake up and then we can go into CarPlay. And you can see here it's connected, it's gone straight in and we get this display. This is the Android box. This is the front end that lets you have a look through at the different apps. You've got the likes of YouTube, Spotify, you've got Netflix. So as we go back through here, you've got all of these on here. You've got the Google Play Store as well. So this being an Android device, there's loads of different apps that you can download for it. But to get your wireless CarPlay, you wanna click on this one here. Now, if it's the first time it's connecting, your phone will ask you for permission to connect but I've already done this, there we go. There's my phone and I'm back in with wireless CarPlay. And as we go through, we've got all of my CarPlay apps, even things like TomTom, Tom, all of that works. So you can see here that actually we've got it all. So that's really easy, a quick minute or two and you're up and running with wireless CarPlay. You might be thinking, but Tim, it's not that much effort plugging my phone in for CarPlay. And you'd be right, it isn't. But this is just a really nice little convenient mod that you can do to your factory CarPlay system to give you wireless CarPlay. Now, not only that, you've got the likes of YouTube and in your van, it's really handy to be able to just sit there uh, watching videos, watching YouTube, watching Netflix. Now, to get the Android apps working, you need to connect this to your phone as a hotspot or if you've got a hotspot already in your van then you can just connect to that and it will be fine now as that connects to my phone there we go so now we should have youtube we can connect to that we're online and just like that we've got youtube in the van Again, switching between the Android box and the CarPlay, wireless CarPlay on your phone is really easy. Just a touch of a button, give it a couple of seconds to connect. Tim from the future here. Now, something I've realized from playing with this for a little while is actually it only has one Wi-Fi connection. So if you're gonna use your phone as a hotspot to go back to CarPlay, you've got to disconnect the hotspot. Now, back at home, I thought, you know what? Not everyone's got a shiny new T6.1. I mean, I haven't. I stole the one at work to do this video. But do other stereos work that may be aftermarket? Now, the instructions say they don't. So let's have a look and see if that's actually the case. Because it might just be that they can't support every aftermarket stereo. They can't test them. So they just say it doesn't work. But over, just over $300 is a pretty expensive thing to try and it doesn't work. So do you know what? I'm going to try it for you and we'll see what happens. Now, some of you might know, my missus has got a Volkswagen Tiguan. That's right, for those who've been with the channel a while, this is the one that was very, very broken. We can see here that it's asking me to connect a CarPlay device. Now, we can see that is connected and obviously it's paired to my phone as it was earlier. Oh, 
but we'll give it a little while, but it's not looking hopeful. Nope, so after a couple of minutes of waiting, it's still not coming on. I think in this case, the instructions are right and it does not work with aftermarket stereos. Now, I know that these RCD 360s and 330s are marketed as Chinese market OE taken out of cars before they're delivered, whatever that nonsense is on eBay. That's not the case. These are aftermarket stereos. This one is actually made by a company called Lemon Shark, but I think there's a bunch of other people who badge up the same thing. So it looks like if you've got factory CarPlay, this will give you wireless CarPlay and it'll give you the Netflix app and YouTube and other bits and pieces. If you've got an aftermarket stereo, this just is not going to work. Yes, so the Tiguan is back in one piece. Yay! It's here, it's on the driveway and it is all good again. So that's where we've been. There's been lots of bits and pieces that frankly, I didn't think you guys were interested in. The video on the Tiguan didn't do particularly well. Um, so do you know what? we just cracked on with it. I've also got something else in the barn. There's a couple of other bits and pieces. And of course there's my T5. So look, let me get out of my work clothes and we'll head up the barn and take a look and see exactly what's going on. And just like that, we're at the barn. Now, I didn't make it up the barn after work. Do you know what, it'd been a long day, it was hot, and I walked through the door and my missus handed me a beer. Here I am, it's the weekend. It is one of the hottest days of the year and we're at the barn, but there's a couple of bits to sort out. So just having a quick look round, we've got the One Series here behind me. And as you may have seen, it's not a car we've done much with on the channel, but progress is being made. We've got the replacement engine here. We've got the auto box mated up to it. So all we need to do is put the manifold on, drop it back in the car, connect up the rear donut, do the engine mounts and sort the wiring loom. Well, Dean from Street Motorsport has been helping me out. You'll see more of Dean on the channel. You've seen him before. And going forward, Dean might even have one or two projects up the barn, but more on that later. So I guess today, um, yeah, I've got some bits and pieces I need to sort out. Um, yeah, to be honest, it gets a bit overwhelming. And like I said, I think I'm gonna have to have a bit of a clear out, bit of a tidy up, maybe even sell off some of the cars. So I think, look, I mean, where to start? I mean, this seems like a good place to start, but until, we have a bit of a move around, sell off a couple of bits and pieces. This engine is staying where it is for now, but it's not gonna stay in this rotten Jetta or that rotten Jetta for long. And to be honest, I'll tell you the story about this Jetta because I've had it in the barn a while. I think you may have seen it once in the background, but this has been bought for a reason and we're about to make some really good progress. So we're gonna need this engine. So with that in mind, I'm going to move some cars around the other side because there's there's something happening and we'll talk about that in the next video. So in the meantime, go and check out the link in the description for One Car Stereo for their wireless CarPlay box that also gives you Netflix, YouTube and other apps in your factory CarPlay system. So while you go and do that, I'm going to have a tidy up in here. Click here to subscribe, click here for another video and I'll see you on the next one.